and it is incredible. I mean, look at that is that is incredible. <sighs> Standing on a grave, sorry. Yeah. yeah. Will, will you be buried, or will you be cremated? I think I would. I would like to be buried so that I have a headstone like mm -hmm. Elvis, mm -hmm. but I think that when you have a headstone and you're in a place, it puts great pressure on your family, your surviving family, to visit you. I, I'd be happy if you, if you, you know, I don't, I'm happy with either. If they, if they buried you or cremated you, they would both suit me fine. Would you come to my funeral? Would you turn up, do you think? Of course I would. Of course would you? I would. Yeah. yeah if only to pad out the numbers, you know. You know when, you know when, um, when someone dies and they go to the funeral and they say, you know, we should have done this when he was alive. He would have loved this. Hmm. What, what, put what, it, what, people what cremated say. him? <laughs> no, you know, hearing, hearing the eulogy. Actually, that's what I'll say at your funeral. We should have done this a lot when he was alive. Cremated him. Ha, 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 ha. No from you, because you're dead. In yeah. the box. That would be... The thing <laughs> is, you wouldn't be able to come back with your man in a box, even though it would be fantastic if you had, because you'd be in a coffin. It would have been the perfect place to do it. But time. you wouldn't be able to it do it. You'd literally be a man in the box. You, I know, it would have been great, but yeah, I'll, I'll be safe in the knowledge that I'll go, great, I can do that, and he won't come back with his man in a box, which would have been brilliant, but he can't, because he's brown bread. I'd be there. I'd be there. I'd be at your funeral. And now, from one of Rob's very closest friends... You'll know him, of course, as TV's Alan Partridge, and he has asked specifically to come up and take 25, 30 minutes to talk about his friend, Rob. S Ladies and gentlemen, shh, Steve Coogan. Oh, oh, you may also know Steve from some of his very good art house films that have been very well reviewed by some of the broadsheet newspapers. Steve Coogan. <sighs> Thanks. Thank you. Aha! Um, uh -huh. Somebody will shout that out, one of my Welsh relatives. Yes, yes. Alan Partridge. Um, very much alive compared with, um, with our good departed friend, Rob Bryden. Rob was an interesting guy. Very funny, very entertaining. And, and yet, at the same time, there was something... That I, although he made me laugh and made us all laugh, I think... There was something about him that was lost, something about him that seemed uh, unable to, to confront the reality of life. And so, when I think of Rob, I, I think of him with both a smile at some of the funny, pithy one-liners he would come out with on Radio 4 panel shows, but also for the man inside. Because behind every little pithy, vaguely amusing joke is a cry for help. But let's not remember there, it. I won't finish there. Jesus no. No. Okay. Christ. Um, be, be, but, but, um, but of course, let's not remember a man who has lost, desperately trying to legitimise his life by doing silly voices constantly and not confronting the truth. Let's remember the other side of Rob. The, the Rob Bryden... The entertainer, yes. the Rob Bryden, yes. who gave some levity yes. to our life and helped us avoid confronting the harsh realities and helped us avoid looking at the brutal reality of what life is. Oh, I talk, but, about, oh, talk okay. about some of the characters. Oh, so some of the characters. Um, who can forget his Tom Jones impression? <laughs> who can forget that? Huh. Think I better die now. You could yes. say that. Huh. Think you better die now. That's good. Yeah, I know. Well, I'll take over when you're doing. There'll, there'll, there'll be plenty of. I'll, I'll, be, I'll do plenty of Tom Jones when you're dead. Don't worry about that. Wow. Well, thank you. No, hey, you're welcome. No. Uh... But there'll be affection there. I, I, you know, I'd, 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 I, I wouldn't. I would never stick the knife in. I might just like tickle you with the, a knife. That's all know. good sport. Exactly. Exactly. Good sport. Exactly. Exactly. Should it go the other way? It's okay. We don't, I'm not asking you to do that. Let's 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 move on. Come on. 